Few aircraft stir up as much emotion and debate as the A-10 Thunderbolt II, affectionately known as the Warthog. Designed for one job, close air support, this flying tank has become both a legend and a lightning rod in military circles. Some hail it as irreplaceable, a beloved guardian angel for troops on the ground. Others argue it's outdated, expensive to maintain, and vulnerable in modern warfare. So the question stands, the A-10 Warthog, love it, or leave it? In this video, we'll break down the facts, the features, and the fierce loyalty surrounding this iconic machine. Built around a 30mm GAU Kate A Avenger cannon, the A-10 isn't just another aircraft, it's a flying gun platform. Every inch of its design screams purpose, to fly low and slow, absorb damage, and support troops under fire. Its titanium bathtub cockpit can take a beating, protecting the pilot from ground fire that would down most aircraft. The engines? Mounted high to reduce heat signature and avoid debris ingestion during rough landings. Unlike stealth fighters, the Warthog is unapologetically visible, and that's the point. It shows up, it takes hits, and it keeps on flying. It's a design meant not for style, but survival. Ask any soldier who's ever been pinned down under enemy fire, and they'll likely tell you the A-10 is their best friend in the sky. The Warthog's ability to loiter over the battlefield for extended periods is unmatched. It doesn't just strike, it stays. Pilots often communicate directly with ground troops, making adjustments in real time. That's close air support in its purest form. When lives are on the line, the Warthog doesn't just provide air power, it brings confidence and morale. Despite its fan base, the A-10 has faced retirement threats for years. The US Air Force argues that newer multirole fighters like the F-35 can do the Warthog's job more efficiently with advanced sensors and precision weapons. Critics counter that no aircraft has proven itself in the CAS or close air support role quite like the A-10. It's tough, effective, and battle-tested. But it's also expensive to maintain and vulnerable to modern air defense systems. The debate isn't just technical, it's emotional. Retiring the A-10 means letting go of a piece of military identity that troops trust with their lives. To remain viable, the A-10 has received several modernization upgrades. These include improved targeting pods, digital cockpit displays, and advanced communication systems. Structural enhancements have extended its service life into the 2030s. Pilots can now coordinate with drones and ground forces more effectively than ever. Newer ammunition types also allow for more efficient and accurate firepower. While it may lack stealth or supersonic speeds, the updated A-10 is far from a relic. It's evolving to meet modern needs while retaining the qualities that made it legendary. In short, the Warthog may age but it refuses to grow obsolete. Beyond its operational history and capabilities, the A-10 holds a place in military culture that few aircraft can claim. It's on morale patches, tattoos, and t-shirts. Pilots and soldiers talk about it like an old friend, gritty, reliable, and always there when it matters most. Museums honor it. War stories are built around it. Even civilians recognize its silhouette and signature cannon sound. Whether or not it remains in service another decade, the A-10's legacy is cemented. It's not just a tool of war, it's a symbol of loyalty, resilience, and a mission-first mindset. Today, we're taking you behind the scenes to witness a critical yet rarely seen operation, the loading of the A-10's legendary weapon systems. From armor-piercing rounds to high-explosive bombs, every step of this process is carried out with precision, safety, and efficiency. So, how does this beast get armed? Let's find out. At the core of the A-10's firepower is the GAU-8A Avenger, a 30mm 7-barrel Gatling-type rotary cannon. It's one of the most powerful aircraft cannons in the world, and loading it is no simple task. Ground crews use a specialized machine called a linkless ammunition loading system. This massive unit delivers up to 1,174 rounds of 30mm depleted uranium or high-explosive incendiary shells directly into the aircraft. The beltless design prevents jamming, ensuring smooth operation during combat. 
crews must follow strict safety protocols while handling this high-energy ammunition. Each round weighs over a pound and can penetrate armored vehicles with ease. Watching the system in action is like witnessing a mechanical ballet, everything timed perfectly, every movement precise. Once fully loaded, the Warthog becomes a flying tank killer. Beyond the nose cannon, the A-10 carries a deadly array of external weapons mounted on 11-wing hardpoints. Here, ground crews attach AGM-65 Maverick missiles, guided bombs, hydro rocket pods, and even fuel tanks for extended range. These munitions are carefully selected based on the mission profile, armor strikes, close air support, or urban operations. The loading process involves hydraulic lifts, electrical safety checks, and precise alignment to ensure targeting systems integrate seamlessly. Each pylon is double-checked before final clearance is given. Unlike other jets, the A-10's rugged design allows it to load and reload in forward operating bases under rough conditions, keeping it in the fight with minimal downtime. A successful weapons loadout isn't just about the machines, it's also about the people. A team of weapons specialists, armament technicians, and ground safety officers all work in sync. Every crew member follows a choreographed routine, often rehearsed under combat conditions. Communication is key, as one mistake could delay a mission or endanger lives. Checklists are reviewed repeatedly, from ammunition handling to fusing and final weapon alignment. These crews operate under tight timeframes, sometimes needing to turn the aircraft around in under an hour. Their work may be behind the scenes, but it's absolutely mission critical. Without them, the A-10 is just a shell literally. Once all munitions are loaded, it's time for the final phase arming the aircraft. This process involves connecting electronic firing systems, running diagnostics, and verifying that each weapon can be safely released or fired. Pilots do a walk-around inspection to ensure everything is properly installed. Safety pins are removed only when the jet is ready to taxi for takeoff. The entire procedure must meet strict US Air Force regulations. Even the smallest error could prevent a weapon from firing or worse, cause an unintended detonation. This final step turns a heavily loaded A-10 into a fully operational war machine, ready for action. With its full arsenal in place, the A-10 Thunderbolt II is an unmistakable presence on the tarmac and an unstoppable force in the air. Loaded with over 30mm rounds, smart bombs, rockets, and missiles, the Warthog transforms into a flying guardian for ground forces. The sight of a fully armed A-10 rolling down the runway is enough to inspire confidence in troops and fear in enemies. It's not just about power, though. It's about precision, discipline, and reliability. And it all begins with the careful process of loading those weapons on the ground. The A-10 Warthog's legendary status is earned not only in the skies but also on the ground, where skilled crews prepare it for battle with precision and care. From its iconic 30mm cannon to its versatile external arsenal, every round and missile loaded is part of a bigger mission protecting those on the ground. Watching it get armed is a reminder of the sheer complexity behind every combat sortie. And once that bird takes off, fully loaded, it becomes one of the most feared aircraft in modern warfare. The Warthog doesn't just fly it brings thunder, 